It'll be a mile and a half the trip, and for the last half mile, the red hot favourite Dancing Brave goes into unknown territory. But Mr. John is the slow starter, but through the first furlong, Arakar up on the outside of Nisnas. Then behind these comes Alan Malord, and also up with the pace is Nom Rude. So it's Nom Rude just going on from Nisnas. Not that much pace on early. Jarir is the back marker, Dancing Brave, mid-division at this stage. They're sorting themselves out, and they're running through the first furlong. The dark green jacket of Nom Rude showing the way to Nisnas, then Wise Councillor, followed by Faraway Dancer, then then again, followed by Arakar in the red on the outside. Next to the rails races Sharud, Dancing Brave at this stage towards the rear, but settled well. Alan Malord is towards the rear, Sharastani is in fifth. But it's Nom Rude in the lead then, as they come to the top of the hill, just over a mile left to race, and Nom Rude leading from far away, Dancer in second. Racing third is Nisnas, then fourth. On the inside is Wise Councillor. After him, on the outer is Sharastani. Behind these comes Arakar, followed by Alan Malord and Flash of Steel and Mashkur. Dancing Brave still down towards the rear, round towards the halfway stage then, and they're starting the descent to Tattenham Corner with Cirque in last place, and it's Nom Rude who leads the pack. From Nisnas in second and far away Dancer, behind these comes Shara Stani. They've just got over five furlongs left to race. Nom Rude, far away Dancer, Nisnas, Shara Stani. Wise Councillor, then again Sharud next to the rails. Just in behind these comes Mashkor. Cirque is still the back marker, and here they start continuing the descent with five furlongs left to go. And at this stage, Dancing Brave is still towards the rear. Cirque is last of all, but it's Nom Rude who leads. From far away, Dancer second. Then comes Nisnas in third. Now comes Sh uh, Sharistani making ground on the outside. And from here on in, Dancing Brave in the pink cap, not in the picture, is into unknown territory. As the pace quickens at last in the Ever Ready Derby. Three furlongs to go, it's Nom Rude in the lead. Dancing Brave on the extreme left, starts to pick up ground. Two and a half to go. Nom Rude, far away dancer, Sharistani with the white face, comes there strongly. Then again, Dancing Brave is on the extreme left, starting to motor. But oh, so much to do! One and a half, he whipped to do it, and Sharastani goes for home, but here, powering down the centre of the track, is the Red Hot favourite, Dancing Brave, inside the final furlough. Sharastani from Dancing Brave. Dancing Brave closing with every stride. Sharastani just held on at the line. Sharastani from Dancing Brave. Mashkul just turned in a photo with this Nass and far away dancer. Then came Flash and Steel behind these Cirque, Mr John. The tailed off horses are the two Irish challengers, and those two are Fioravanti, and last of all is Wise Councillor. But the result of this, the ever ready derby, it's a win for number 14, Sharastani, owned by His Highness the Aga Khan, trained at Newmarket by Michael Stout, ridden by the Arg uh, trained by the Aga Khan, bred by him, and ridden by Walter Swinburne to give him his second derby victory. His previous was in these colours too, and that was, of course, on Shergar, who was the easiest winner of the derby we've ever seen. This fellow wasn't because second was number five, Dancing Brave, who was owned by Mr. Khalid Abdullah, trained at Pulborough by Guy Harwood and ridden by Greville Starkey. Now I wonder how much ink will be spilt by the press pundits wondering if Greville gave him too much to do. But there is Sharastani. That's our winner. The third horse home. That's number six. It's a photo for third place. We'll leave that for the judge. But there in the world of sport is the happiest man at the moment. That's Walter Swinburne. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.